In this video, we'll have a better understanding of Kotb Author's interface and uh, understand the different uh, uh, parts uh, and how to get things done. And then uh, we'll see how to uh, create our first uh, ebook. So, assuming that you followed the previous tutorial of uh, downloading and setting up the software, you should have a Kotb Author on your desktop. Or if you don't have a shortcut icon, then you should find it in the Start menu. So double click on it and let me maximize it. So it'll take a few seconds in the beginning just to load. Okay, and uh, that's the first thing that you see once you open Kotb Author. Uh, so the first thing that you should do is you should go to settings and from settings language and you can uh, choose the language that you you feel more uh, most comfortable with. Uh, of course, uh, you only need to change this once, only in the f f uh, in the very beginning. Later on, every time you open the software, it will remember this setting and will open in the uh, appropriate language. Something else: the skins. If you're not comfortable with the purple uh, theme color of Kotobi, you can change it to anything else you like. You can have it uh, completely bright just like Google's theme you can have it dark okay you can have it uh, orange similar to Kotobi publishers theme so in our case we're, we're gonna keep it on uh, in the uh, original now by default you have a blank uh, book open and uh, when you create a new book you will find this uh, dialog box which uh, asks you about the first chapter that you created do you want it to be a in reflowable layout or fixed layout later on we're going to uh, discuss the uh, differences between these two layouts so for now I'm going to close this dialog box now from the file menu you can you have the f uh, normal file operations like uh, creating a new book opening an existing book uh, importing from different source like PDF or a word document and saving your book You'll find these options here, okay, and these icons as shortcuts. Now, currently, you're in the edit stage of your book. Now, as I mentioned, there's a, there's a workflow for creating your book. You have different stages or different steps, call them uh, what you want to call them. But currently, by default, you're in the edit stage or the edit screen. So this is where you edit your book and you create the content and so on. After you're done, you move on to the customize step where you customize the, the colors, the interface, and the branding. And then the final stage is export. This is when you uh, convert your book into different formats, uh, apps uh, for web, desktop, uh, mobile, LMS, uh, SCORM, and so on. All right, and then um, moving uh, below the, the file operations icons, you have uh, the fields for the for the book so uh, you have the title the book title you enter it here by clicking on this image you can change the the cover image of the book you click on book manager here you fill in all the meta information related to the book like the author publisher copyrights ISBN description and so on now in this left area, in the left middle area, this is the chapter management panel. This is where you create the chapters, create sub-chapters, name the chapters, and so on. It's very simple. You, s you click on new chapter, and then you get the dialog for the different layout that you want to create, either reflowable or, or fixed. And actually, if you check don't ask again, then you don't have to see this every single time. Okay. You can also create nested chapters, so this chapter will be like a folder and it will have sub-chapters. At the bottom here you have uh, uh, more operations for chapter management. You can, uh, you can uh, assign a parent for your chapter, so say you have a sub-chapter, you can uh, assign a different parent for this sub-chapter, so it's just an easy way to arrange the chapters and you, you can uh, shift the sh uh, sub-chapter upwards or downwards actually uh, also a chapter not just a sub-chapter and then you can delete the chapter okay now this is the center area is where you uh, enter the content for the for the chapter 
okay so we can type in this is my first book sorry and uh, you have the normal editing operations uh, styling text uh, fonts uh, sizes and so on many different options to choose from from the right panel you have your toolbox here this is where you choose the different interactive objects that you want to add into the chapter so let's take an example and uh, add some questions just a single question my first question okay uh, in an another video we're going to go in depth to see all the different options for these interactive elements so we'll just take a very quick example So we create a question. Could you be author creates ebooks? Actually, it's a statement, and uh, you set the default, uh, the correct answer to true. Create. Okay. So it places a, it uh, it places a, uh, uh, what do you call it? a placeholder? Uh, it shows you some description of the interactive element and so on. You can uh, edit the interactive element later, uh, anytime you want. You can uh, shift it upwards and downwards. But to actually see to actually see the interactive element in action you have to preview the chapter and this is where this area comes in at the bottom right you click on preview mode and it, it renders the chapter and shows you the interactive elements in action okay so right just as an example also here you have uh, further options if you want to uh, go in depth in editing your chapter you can add your own uh, JavaScript. So this is a global JS file, global JavaScript file, which is accessible by all the chapters. So you can place your own uh, functions here. And you have a global CSS uh, file. And you can edit it here. So for example, you can assign a background color for uh, all the chapters at once here. Makes things uh, easy. And you can see the source code of the, of the page. As you know, EPUB uh, is based on uh, HTML so uh, each chapter is basically an uh, HTML file if you click on the source mode button it will show you the HTML uh, that's uh, assigned to this uh, chapter as an example to see what an ebook will look like in go to be author let's open an existing EPUB so we have Alice in Wonderland as an EPUB file that we downloaded for free Click on open. Okay, and you can see you have the content here in the middle. On the left, uh, y you have the title of the book. Click on book manager. See the author, rights, and so on. You have the different chapters. Some are nested. Okay. So that's how it look like basically. Um, now the the second stage, after you're uh, after you're sure that you uh, you finished editing your book, is the customize stage. Now there are two goals from the customize uh, page or section. That's firstly to preview your entire book as a whole, so you're previewing the app instead of previewing each chapter separately. So I'll show you here in the middle area, the actual app. So you can highlight text. You can open a chapter panel you can check the settings and so on and you can actually preview it for different devices different containers like iphone 6 plus you can rotate okay and this, this is fully interactive you can interact it uh, interact with it just to imagine what the app would look like so different options to choose from now let's go back to the full view actually let's stay with the desktop screen no we'll stick with full view second goal from the customize uh, page is to uh, customize it obviously and that's to uh, to uh, change the, uh, the colors the interface and so on so if you click on restart ebook you'll find that you have a startup page you have a logo and uh, you have a background image and so on so you can enter your own slogan here so for example um, my first ebook Okay, so you see uh, now it says my first ebook here. And uh, likewise, you can change the logo that appears, you can change the background image, you can 
change the headers that are that appear. We can actually do this right now. We'll uh, show you on the fly what it looks like. You can see at the top here, it's changing. Actually apply a gradient. And you have uh, further advanced uh, options down here. So mainly related to the chapters panel. So you can change the, the background colors. So you basically have full flexibility over what you want to do. Okay, that's not the most beautiful thing, but uh, it just gives you an idea of what you can accomplish. The second thing that you can customize is the functionality of the book. So click on components here. You can see the different uh, components and functions inside your ebook. You can enable and disable each. So for example, if you highlight any word like Wonderland, you can see that everything is disabled. But if you click on enable for annotations, for example, you can see that you can now you can highlight or you can add a note for this word. Similarly with the, the rest of the com uh, functions like search, text to speech, Google lookup, copy to clipboard, and so on. So make sure that you have the you have the, you, you enable the functions that you need here. The last stage is the export stage. And this shows you the different export formats that you can uh, convert your book to. Okay? So first the the default uh, screen shows the standard formats like uh, EPUB, Kindle, PDF Word. Basically, these are formats that can open other readers, not just in uh, Kotobi. Yeah. And then, the other, all the other formats have the, the a reader embedded in order to make it run, uh, unlike the standard formats. So you have a web app. Uh, basically, you can upload these files to your website using uh, FTP, and people will access your ebook through the browser. They do not need to download any kind of plugin or add-on. It will just work inside the, the browser as it is. You can export a desktop app for Windows or Macintosh. You can export a mobile app for Android, iOS, Windows Phone. You can integrate with your uh, learning management system. That's uh, exported as, as a SCORM component. So if, you, if you're a school or a university and you have a system like uh, Moodle or Blackboard installed, this will uh, integrate the book uh, very nicely with the system and uh, report uh, scores and grades and so on. Here you can export, you can uh, host the book uh, uh, directly into our servers, the kutubi.com servers. And finally, and this is a big topic, libraries, you can uh, add the book as part of a, an existing library. Now this is all uh, disabled, it says enter serial number. In case you didn't follow the previous video of setting up uh, and downloading GoToBe Author, you'll have to register for a free serial number. So that's uh, what this button is for. You click on it and it'll open the browser and into the registration page where you enter all your information and submit and it will email you a serial number to use. So I'm going to use the serial number that I received from the last video. I'll click here, enter serial number. And let me just pull it up. And once it says my, the name, your name or my name here, then it means that it logged in successfully. And you can see some uh, information relating to your account, like uh, your account uh, summary or information, and the subscriptions that are affiliated with your account. And now you can just click on create. Of course, not everything is free, but you'll be able to see the free uh, free export options where the button says create simply click on create and I'll choose you to save to a certain target and that's it that's uh, that's all there is to it now you'll uh, you'll notice something the manage tab that appears once you log in now the manage tab is something that we'll go into later on and uh, it will help for for things like when uh, exporting a mobile app just to track the status of the compile compilation on the server and so on We'll not dwell into that uh, now, we'll go into it later. So for now I'll stop here. I hope you found the, the overall picture easy and simple. So explore, play around with it, and uh, feel free to, uh, to contact us on the, uh, on the support page for any problems. Hopefully you won't uh, face any issues at this stage. And uh, continue with the videos uh, if you need uh, further help. Thank you and good luck.